So, with more than 2,000 comedians performing at this year's Melbourne International Comedy Festival, it's probably a good idea to get to know at least one of them a bit better. Yep. Josh Erlke, tell us a little bit about your style of comedy. Uh, I do uh, songs, so I guess people, the easiest way is musical comedy, but I also do stand-up as well. I have uh, slides behind me. Some pictures, it's, it's a bit of a slide night. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's just, uh, hopefully people find it very funny. That's the main thing, it's funny. I really wanted to ask you what that style of comedy is called, when you talk but sing. Yeah, uh, it's uh, called not being good enough to sing properly, <laughs> but wanting the jokes to be heard. That's what it is. I love it because I feel like I imagine you, um, having seen some of your stuff before, I imagine that you just go to the supermarket and you're like, can I please have two grapes? And like, <laughs> do you do that everywhere you go? No, but it is, because if you look at my stuff, you'll notice the first two verses that normally sung and then I'm like oh I can't get all the bits I want <laughs> to rhyme so I'll just say it I'll just say that's that's probably and that's when I get most of the laughs when I'm just saying it yeah I, I find it highly entertaining oh, good. now with so many different shows more than 500 shows at the yeah. comedy festival um what are some of your picks you think for the night um locals uh, Hannah Gadsby is great I, I really always like her uh Celia Bacola is Amazing uh, a show, a local show called uh, Tommy Daslow, Little Golden Daslow, is very, very funny. It's, it's a bit of interactive. He had, you get given a little uh, book and you play along. That's fun. It's That's so really yeah, fun. So especially when you're seeing so many shows that are just yeah. people standing up talking. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's nice to have a bit of a break and go, oh, I get to play a game. Give us a bit of an insight on what it's like when comedians catch up for a beer. Like, oh. do you guys accidentally just keep throwing the jokes in? Or no, you don't want to be do that person. Do you try and be like? Yeah, as soon as someone's you can tell they're doing a bit. They're like, <laughs> we're not at work now. Can you just, can you switch off? Is that, that's, that's the worst thing if a comedian's trying a bit on you. And yeah. you can tell because their mannerisms have changed. They get a bit like, oh, hey, so I was, this happened to me the other day. I'm like, no, it didn't. Stop lying. Is there, is there a particular comedian that everyone loves getting a beer with because they know that the jokes will accidentally just fall out of them? Uh, I think Harley Breen. If you know yes. Harley Breen, he, yeah, he, he's one of the funniest men on and off stage that yep. I know. Yeah, he's... yeah, we had the pleasure of chatting to him last year on the oh, list and he was a cheeky Bugger. Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's really fun. <laughs> really fun. And um, what about, obviously, with On The List Melbourne, we always want to know um, your favourite things in Melbourne. What's your favourite place to go check out comedy? Uh, during the year when it's not Comedy Festival, I think uh, Catfish in, on Gertrude Street. So it's Catfish Bar there. Yep. They do comedy on Tuesday nights. It's always a really great lineup, really great room for comedy. And also on, uh, so there's the European Beer Cafe as well on Thursday nights is a really great. So they're my two picks for, that's awesome. where I go and see comedy. Well, I would do it for you, but I feel like you're more than capable to do it for yourself. Do you want to just do a little plug for your show, Josh? Oh, yes. So uh, over under, I'm only doing eight shows this year. It's at uh, the Triple R Performance Space. Uh, so out in East Brunswick. So a little bit away from the city, but it's, it's cosy and there's a bar across the road you can go to. You can even bring drinks into it because there's no, there's no security that's <laughs> going to stop you. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's going to be a fun show. And Josh is the only one actually performing there. So if you yeah. do go to that space, it's his to own. Yeah. And, um, and he promises if he goes for a drink afterwards, he won't try and do a bit. No, I won't do any bits, <laughs> I promise. Thank you, Josh. Okay.